Hello Nation. Today we're going to talk about steroids and how they may affect your diabetes. First of all, what the heck are steroids? They're powerful anti-inflammatory agents. Now our bodies naturally produce steroids. They come from the adrenal glands, which are two little glands that sit on top of our kidneys. And our bodies typically regulate how much steroids we need over time in periods of illness and sickness. If you get too much steroids, if you have a steroid producing tumor, you can get a condition called Cushing's disease. If you don't have enough, you can get really sick because we all need a certain amount of steroids and that's called Addison's disease. That's what President Kennedy had. Now, there's many different forms of steroids. Most of them are prescription and we take them in a pill form. You can also inject steroids into a bad joint and sometimes you can inject very high doses. It's typically an orthopedic surgeon and typically they don't tell you they're steroids. So always ask when someone's giving you a medication to reduce inflammation. You could have an, another autoimmune con condition called lupus and you may need to go on it temporarily. You may have a bad a sinus infection, you may have asthma attack and need to take it for 7 to 14 days. Now here's the problem. We always say in medicine, steroids can save you and they can kill you because too much is not good. Now if you have diabetes, it can cause havoc with your blood sugars. Your blood sugars go through the roof. When I got injected into my trigger finger joint, oh my gosh, my blood sugars were 3 to 500 for two days. For I, when I took it from my sinus infection, for 10 days, I took a tapering dose, 60 milligrams and 50, then 40. My blood sugars were through the roof. There was not enough insulin in the world to keep my blood sugars down. So what do you do? You've got to test a lot. If you're on a high dose steroid over a long period of time and you're on insulin, you better talk to your caregiver about ramping up your correction doses, more fast acting. And if you're going to be on steroids a really long time, they probably want to change your basal. But most of the time, fast acting insulin like Eumolog, Novolog, Epidra is the right way to go. Now, let's just say you're on oral medications, you don't have insulin at home, and you're going to go on steroids. Just test. If you're going to be on steroids just for a short period of time, your blood sugars will be high, you'll be fine, won't cause any long-term damage. But if you're going to be on steroids for a long period of time and your blood sugars are consistently above 200, then you need to talk to your caregiver and you may need to go on insulin temporarily. So remember, nation, steroids don't cause diabetes. They make the blood sugars worse. And just depending on the strength and duration of therapy will dictate what you will need to stay in control.